We're here on Mount Nebo. You know, Deuteronomy 34 records that God called Moses to the top of Mount Nebo. He was full of strength. His eyes could see in a very important and fine way, but God called him to die. From this mountain you can see into the distance, you can see the desert where Moses and the children of Israel wandered for 40 years. You can see the Dead Sea, you can see Jericho, you can see the area of the Jordan River. God called Moses to be able to see and understand what was going to happen in the future. You see, had Moses not sinned, that one sin, which took glory to himself when he was commanding the water to come out of the rock. Rather, he should have said this was God bringing the water. If he had not committed that one sin, God would have permitted him to go into the promised land. And we're told in the spirit of prophecy and patriarchs and prophets that God would have taken him to heaven without seeing death. But God had other plans. And as Moses looked out over this incredible valley, God revealed to him not only what he could see physically, but spiritually a vision of the future. And as he saw the children of Israel taking possession of Canaan, as he saw the ups and downs of God's people who were so remiss in giving God glory. And so God would allow trouble and difficulty to come upon them. And he saw this in generation after generation until finally he even saw the time of the Roman occupation. He was taken in vision so that he saw Christ, his simple life, his miracles, his death on the cross. Moses saw his last understanding of what this world was all about. Many times when we expect certain things, God has other plans. God has great plans for you and for me. Just as he had plans for Moses because not long after, he raised him from the dead and took him to heaven as a symbol of those who die firmly in Jesus Christ and then are raised to life everlasting. Just as he had plans for Moses, he had plans for the children of Israel. They crossed the Jordan River under the guidance of Joshua, the appointed leader to succeed Moses. And God has plans for you and for me. Figuratively, he wants to lead us across the Jordan River into the Promised Land.